Hello, I'm the Cinema Fanatic, and today I'm going to review Garden of the Dead. Garden of the Dead is a 1972 or 1974 zombie film directed by John Hayes. The plot concerns a group of inmates who spend their time getting high off formaldehyde. They attempt a jailbreak only to be killed by the police. However, the formaldehyde in the inmates' systems resurrects them as zombies and they go on a rampage. Okay, so the plot sounds kind of silly, but that doesn't mean the film is bad, right? Right? So what are the problems with this movie? Well, one problem is that the script is inconsistent. One zombie gets shot in the chest, killing him, but another one shrugs off a shotgun blast, only to get killed by a second blast. One zombie gets killed by a searchlight and it disintegrates him. That doesn't make any sense! The second problem is that many shots of the zombies are taken from a mile away. I have a reason for this, but I'll get into that later. The third issue is that this movie is only 58 minutes long, but it's structured like it should be an hour and a half. So we're only getting half of a movie. This is evident when a love plot is introduced only to have the man, played by Marlon Proctor, get stabbed and not show up again until the end of the movie. And now for the two main problems with this film. Yeah, two. It's not scary, and... Here's the toss-up. There's no gore. Now, not all zombie movies have gore. White Zombie, for instance, doesn't have blood at all, but it has a creepy atmosphere. Subsequently, other horror films like Halloween and the Texas Chainsaw Massacre aren't very gory either, but they have genuine suspense and genuine thrills. The only thing this film has is people shooting zombies, but with no gore at all. Remember when I mentioned that some shots of the zombies are filmed from a mile away? Well, I'm led to believe it's because they didn't have special effects to show. So they just didn't bother to show them. And when we do see a zombie attacking someone, it's always edited or shot so you don't see anything. Interesting to note, this film features fast zombies. It was made in 1972. George Romero's Dawn of the Dead had fast zombies, but only briefly the two kids that jump out of the closet. Is this the first film to feature fast zombies? If not, let me know in the comments. So yeah, this film is a disappointing time waster. It's not as bad as Dinosaur from the Deep or Curse of the Headless Horseman, but it certainly isn't Night of the Living Dead. I'll see you next time.